So the first two terms you can group together because they have a common factor of yeah. what? What's the common factor? Um, a. Okay, so I can factor out the A. What am I left with? Um, X, y. X take away Y. And then, and then the second two terms, we can group these together because they have a common factor of what? B. B. So if I divide both of these by B, so we have to include the sign, so it's plus B. Whatever, if you divide by something, the opposite is to multiply. So B times X, and then subtract good, what? Y. Y. That's it. Wait, but then don't, don't you have to? Yes, so now, yes, what would it be now? It doesn't matter what order. X minus Y, because this is a common factor, and then what's left? A plus B. A plus B. So that's factored fully. That's it. Good. For the first two terms here, the common factor is x. And is that it? Is there another common factor? What can these both be divided by as well? Five. So 5x, what am I left with? What's 10x squared divided by 5x? Yep, and then 5x divided by 5x is positive 1 negative 3 and y. Yep, that's correct. So this negative 6 divided by negative 3 is what? Positive 2. And then y divided by y cancels out. I'm left with x. Negative divided by negative is positive 1. And you're going to notice you're going to get common factor. So what's the final answer fully factored? 2x plus 1 times 5x minus 3y. It doesn't matter if you write it like this, the other way around. Either method is correct, okay? So the common factor for the first two terms is 3m. What am I left with? If I divide this by 3m, I'm left with... And if I divide this by 3m, I'm left with positive y, good. And the second two terms, Jesse, are divisible by 2. They don't have any variables in common, so we're left with the x plus the y. Same bracket. What's the final answer? 3m plus 2 times x plus y. Uh, for this, what's the common factor? Just... It's just M. Okay, so I'm left with 5Y plus T. And then for this, we have positive. What can both of these be divided by? N. So I'm left with 5Y plus T. So fully factors. What's the final answer? Andrew? What was your final answer, fully factored? Y plus T, correct, times what? Times what? M plus N, good. 5W, what are you left with? Divide by 5W, divide by 5W, what do you have left? X take away? Two. Minus 3T. If I divide this by negative 3t and divide this by, don't forget the sign, dividing by a negative, we're left with x, and then a positive divided by negative is negative 2. Final answer, x minus 2, 5w minus 3t. Common factors 4mn, oops, so what do I have in brackets? I'm left with T. Uh, minus mm -hmm. four. Good. And then for the second one, do they have a common factor? No. So it would have to be one. You have to divide it by negative one. When there's no variable or number, factor out the one. Okay, so it would be negative one, bracket T, positive four divided by negative one is negative four. So as you see how that makes sense, then I've gotten my 
common factors now. So always factor out the one, okay? So we're left with 4mn minus 1, bracket t minus 